Oyster are on a decline in Texas, and it could mean trouble across the country since a lot of the oyster eaten on the east and west coast come from the Lone Star State. It's getting worse every year. We have a problem with the droughts and uh, really uh, lots of rainfall. Oyster harvester in Galveston Bay used to catch an average of roughly 730 of the mollusk every hour in the early 2000s. That number dropped to 221 oysters per hour on average between 2019 and 2022. Texas wildlife scientists say the climate crisis and overharvesting are to blame for this alarming decline. The effects are expected to reverberate on the east and west coast since about 75% of the state's oyster are exported there. We see both drought and rainfall negatively affecting oyster reefs. So oysters kind of like a moderate salinity. They like not too much rain, but not too much drought. Um, and so anytime we go into heavy drought or heavy uh, rainfall or flood cycles, we'll see impacts to oyster reefs. The year to declining oyster population is forcing Texas to block harvesting on most of its public reefs. Oyster harvester worries that the few reefs that remain open might suffer from overharvesting. So whenever they do close uh, the bays down, usually it's because they're running their tests and the bay must have not passed a certain test, which means it's, we're not able to oyster there. And what that does is to the other areas is you're putting stress on the other areas by closing that one down.